handling um, currencies. So it's it's two two questions. Um, Aliza, if you can start with Andrew's questions about limitation and then let us know if this is something that could work in the context of Lebanon. Okay, well, um, thank you, Andrew, for the question. Um, I would start by saying that um, mutual credit as a concept, um, centralized systems of mutual credit have been demonstrated to work in a handful of cases. So in, in, in situations similar to what Lebanon is going through. So the, the VIA system in Switzerland that got started in like the thirties, this was, uh, it's still running today. It's a system of mutual credit. Um, also in Argentina, there's the, um, the, credi the credito um, emerged in the nineties after um, when they were going through a monetary crisis. Um, the, there's also Sardex, a system in uh, Sardinia in, in Italy, um, and this is also a system of mutual credit that um, helped them out considerably. And so these, these are all, um, well, with the exception of the Turkey, the Credito, um, more centralized systems of mutual credit. And trust lines is something, it's a decentralized version on top of that. Um, to address the bottleneck question, the hardest part in setting up a community currency system in general or a system of mutual credit, which you could say is a type of community currency, um, the hardest part about it is getting together a group of uh, a community, a group of businesses, entrepreneurs, whatever you call it, who are willing to um, bootstrap the system, who are willing to join the, the, the exchange network and um, trade with each other using this alternative uh, system of value. Um, and this, this is, you know, this is beyond just having a great idea. You need to do the on the ground work of mobilizing your community, um, educating them, getting them uh, to agree to participate in this alternative system. This, yeah, this is by far, this is the hardest part. And this is what we're dealing with right now with trust lines. Um, so trust lines takes that, that, that difficult step um, of how to bootstrap your network and it multiplies it probably by, by 10 because with trust lines, we are not, um, so trust lines is decentralized and it, decentralized in two respects. So not just trust lines is, is, exists on a blockchain, but it is also um, not a centralized system mutual credit. It is a bilateral uh, credit network. So each, um, each of the building blocks that uh, make up the trust lines network is um, a peer-to-peer -peer relationship. Um, this means that instead of just setting up one organization that uh, you know onboards each business in the network, you actually need individuals to go out and understand the system well enough to connect to each other and build up the network that way. Um, so it, it makes it not just harder to get it set up, but um, harder for um, so the, the, the network basically having a uh, using trust lines network as a sophisticated payment system that works just like money. Um, this can only happen after you have a mature network set up in the first place. And so after you have a dense network of lots of people within your community who have trust lines with each other. Um, this this is the challenge. <laughs> um, I forgot if I if I had uh, something else to add to that. Um, I think a related a related challenge is um, how do we? It, it's more of a question of financial education and um, the language that we use to talk about this. And because, as I said, it's it's at the end of the day, it's individuals who have access to trust lines and are going to be the ones going to their community, connecting to people individually. Um, and so one of the specific challenges or um, just questions we've had is how do people um, understand this concept? Uh, how do they understand it differently depending on where they are also and, and what their, um, what exposure they've had to existing monetary systems. You know, the US dollar is a credit system. It, when, you look, when you look at it closely, most people don't think about it like that, but it's commercial banks issuing credit. Um, and so it's not, it's not fundamentally different from how trust lines works. Um, 
But the, the question is, what kind of language do we need to use in order to uh, basically re, re, um, have people, um, we're asking people to relearn how money works and uh, just question the idea of what money is. Um, and uh, this, this can be a challenge. Uh, did I, let's see, did I answer the question? <laughs> I think